everyone, this is Moshe the Electric Israeli and yesterday I put out a video, I'm going to put a link for you, about uh, the MPGE, the best efficient EV on the market, the top five, and I explained what MPGE is and all that. So watch this, watch that video as well because it's very related to this video. But before I say that, thank you for those who are joining me for the first time, please subscribe and if you're new one, welcome back. Um, so today we're going to talk about the most important topic, the most important concern, issue uh, uh, when you drive electric cars and that is the um, range. I mean the bottom line, the design, price, everything is important. But the bottom line is how far can I go with this car, with any electric car? So obviously the first models had a very limited range. Uh, I had a Nissan Leaf of 85 miles. And as the time went by, the battery improved and, and, and uh, range grew. Prices stayed the same. Prices per um, kilowatt went down and on and on you go. But the bottom line for the average driver who could care less about anything I'm just co coming out of my mouth right now is how far can I go and how can I be the most efficient? So basically, guys, the bottom line is the size of the battery is very important. The bigger the battery, the more range you have. The way the battery is managed, uh, the cooling and heating of the battery, the battery health, degradation, and also efficiency. Uh, drag is very important, how aerodynamic the car is and how uh, the car cuts through the wind and how it can uh, um, uh, resist uh, the wind, the wind the headwind in a way that it will drive the most miles as you know for example some cars are uh, waiting to uh, the government to eliminate the, the the side mirror so they can have like just a little camera to resist the winds I mean if you see those very big gas castlers that are so inefficient they have huge mirrors those are wind uh, uh, blockers as, as I say so you need so much more uh, power to move the car forward than you would need if the car uh, uh, cuts through the wind in, in a better way. Um, temperature is extraordinarily important. Uh, uh, electric cars lose between 30 to 50 percent of their rated range in the winter. And when I say winter, I mean very cold temperature. You can be in a winter in 38 degrees, and you and you will drive farther if you are in the winter and it's only zero degrees, like it was here last week. It was a cold tundra so as you see so temperature is very important speeds uh, road conditions tires and on and on and on and on and on you go so what how can you maximize your uh, your EV range uh, there's several things that you can do uh, first of all a habit is to charge the car car means to be charged electric cars meant to be charged so it's important to have a habit of charging the car uh, second of all if you can help it do not do not uh, add to the drag of the car I took a trip to Florida and I put a, a, uh, a cargo box on the uh, on the roof and the drag was so tremendous that I needed so much more energy to accomplish the same amount of total miles so drag is very very important speed is very important like I said weather so uh, uh, charging the car warm it up warming it up while it is connected to the wall especially in the winter or cooling it off while it's connected to the wall in the summer is very but it's good to come to a nice warm battery pack pack very important that the battery pack is nice and warm and ready to go so you can do it from an app you can schedule it all electric cars have ways to preheat the or pre-cool the car it's very 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 important um, if your car like uh, let's say like the Chevy Bolt or the Tesla or others if they have a very good regenerative braking, set it to the eyes, always suggest, set it to the maximum, low gear if you have that option, to let it regenerate as many, uh, uh, as, as much as it's possible, as much as possible to give you back uh, energy. And speed, I have uh, what I call the five miles rule. I drive five miles uh, above the speed limit, especially in highways. So at 65 miles an hour, I would go 70, 70, 75, and, and 45, 50, and all that. And it's, it's always better to, um, 
to uh, uh, not drive in really high speeds. Uh, now, you, if you if you definitely gonna make it and it's there's no rush, fine. But what I'm telling you, if you need to maximize your range, uh, highway speeds do consume a lot of energy. Uh, and so, the more efficient you are, the more um, I would say not careful, uh, conservative you are, then you will maximize your range. But I cannot emphasize enough the <laughs> elimination of track you know if you tow something or put something on your roof that that is a range killer uh, and everything else that I explained but uh, if there are certain things that you can help uh, like um, uh, uh, speeds and, re and regenerative braking and all that this thing that you can do to help your uh, uh, range char daily charging is always give you it's always great and, and, and things like that that will help you maximize your range. And nowadays, most pure, EV, pure EVs have 200 plus miles and any new one that comes has, has that kind of range. So, so the size of the battery or the range of battery becomes irrelevant. But if you, if you really need it and you need to maximize it, if you follow these steps, they'll be extraordinarily helpful. Uh, for the health of the battery and for the uh, maximum range of your car all right now by the way before I finish I want to say that in the summer you will get you will get a lot more range than the uh, what what uh, than the um, the projected range or the uh, uh, what the car is said to have in normal condition in other words the uh, rated range of the car will be you will get much more in the summer by far more 20 percent more uh, i've tested it a million times so you know you give and you take same thing by the way with gasoline cars it's not not too much different all right so that's that guys if you have specific questions i always love to answer it's my one of my favorite topics and i'll see you tomorrow with another video please don't forget to subscribe and we change the world one electric car at a time